President Trump's conduct that day was so shameful and so outrageous that it prompted numerous members of the White House staff and other Trump appointees to resign. In prior hearings, you've heard Deputy National Security Advisor Matt Pottinger and Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Matthews explain why they felt compelled to resign on that day. Since then, we've spoken to more high-ranking officials, like President Trump's envoy to Northern Ireland and former Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney and Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao, who resigned after the 6th in protest of Trump's misconduct and to dissociate themselves from his role in the violence. Take a listen to what they had to say. I was stunned by violence and uh, was stunned by the president's apparent indifference to the violence. And now is the time for the president to be presidential. I thought he failed to do it. I thought he failed at, at, at a critical time to be the sort of leader that the, the nation needed. I think the events at the Capitol, uh, however they occurred, were shocking. And it was something that, as I mentioned in my statement, that I could not put aside. And at a particular point, the events were such that it was impossible for me to continue, given my personal values and my philosophy. I came as an immigrant to this country. I believe in this country. I believe in a peaceful transfer of power, I believe in democracy. And so I was a, it was a, a decision that I made on my own.